This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at audio fundamentals inside Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll give you an overview of using roles to organize your project. Roles and subroles are labels which are applied to audio or video clips. Roles and subroles allow grouping of clips to simplify organization and mixing. There are five default roles. For audio, there's dialogue, effects, and music. And for video, there's video and titles. Every clip has a role applied to it during import. I used to consider roles an advanced feature, but really you need to be paying attention to them even on beginning projects. Let me show you how these work. Now, I don't need to see the individual clips anymore. We're done with that. So I'm going to set this to lozenge view and close this. So now we've just sort of shrunk everything down so we can see it. There's our dialogue, there's our effects, and there's our music. Just because I can, I'm gonna pull the effects down here. And now I've got effect, music, and effect. But I haven't assigned any roles. So let's take a look at what we have to work with. Let's select this clip, go up to modify, and assign audio roles. And let's assign this an effects role. Now this is the role called dialogue. And these are sub roles. You could have guy dialogue, girl dialogue, English dialogue, French dialogue. You know, you can break that however you want. I'm just gonna say effects. And notice it changes the color of the clip and moves it below all of my dialogue clips. Select this clip. And this, this time I'm gonna right mouse click, assign audio role effects and it groups my effects clips together. Right mouse click, assign audio role to music. It's now changed the stacking order so that all my dialogue clips are at the top, all of my effects clips are in the middle, and all of my music clips are at the bottom. You can create new roles, you can assign roles to different clips, you can have French dialogue, English dialogue, Spanish dialogue, I mean, whatever you do with roles, they're just labels, you can label them as you see fit. We see the results by clicking on the timeline index and going to roles. And here, notice, there's my dialogue. When I uncheck this, let's just play this. I loved her. Dialogue is now muted. When I uncheck this, Effects are muted. Hey, I loved her. And when I uncheck this, music is muted. I loved her. This is a fast way to say, well, what does my effects track sound like without listening to dialogue? In addition to being able to group our clips and turn clips off in groups where I mute the dialogue or the effects, we have other organizational capability. For instance, when I click this button, I expand or explode all the dialogue clips so I can see what all the clips look like. Or if I turn this button off, they're now consolidated down into a very thin layer. This makes it easy for me, for instance, to take 12 layers of sound effects clips and squeeze them down into a smaller layer. If I click this button, all the other roles are squeezed even smaller. This makes it really easy to take a complex timeline and shrink it down vertically so it doesn't look so overwhelming. I can grab this music roll and drag it up, and now all of the music clips are moved above the effects clips, which make it easy to compare the timing of a music clip with a sync clip. Now the sync clips, the dialogue clips, are always on top. What I'm changing is the order of the clips below it, or grab effects and drag it above. Now imagine that effects was not just two layers, but 15 or 20 layers. Imagine trying to grab each one of those clips and drag it vertically without having it shift out of position. Can't be done. Dragging the roll makes changing vertical positions by groups really easy. Now another thing that I did with this project is I took it into a, a sound mixing program and I created a final mix. There it is right there called barn mix. I'm going to grab the barn mix and, and drag it down right at the bottom where I add. I'm going to drag it down. No, 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 no. Why can't I add it at the bottom? And the reason is because it's flagged as a dialogue clip. It's given the default dialogue role. So to change that, go up to Modify, go down to Edit Roles. I'm going to create a new audio role called Final Mix and click Apply. Then right-click on my Final Mix and assign it the audio role of Final Mix. And instantly it bubbles down to the very bottom. All my default roles are always above custom roles. 
when I play this back, I'm going to hear everything. So I turn off dialog, I turn off effects, I turn off music, and now those are muted, and all I hear is the final mix. I loved her. She ain't got the right to treat anybody like that. How come you never told me what happened? Cool. Roles give me organizational power in the timeline to take complex timelines and make them much more manageable. Which gets me to the last thing I want to show you before we wrap up. Time to export. The important thing you need to keep in mind about roles is there is no relationship between the settings of roles in the timeline and the settings of roles for export. When I go up to share, master file gives us the most control. Click on the settings tab. Roles are controlled down here. If the roles are set as a quick time movie, every role, regardless of whether it's turned on or off in the timeline, every role will export and create a stereo pair in the final exported movie. That's not what I want. Instead, I want to export a multi-track quick time movie, and I don't want to include dialog. I don't want to include effects, and I don't want to include music because all of those are already built into the final mix. So therefore, I just click the minus button and I get rid of the roles that I don't want to export. Click share, and a single QuickTime movie will be built with just video and just the final mix. If I need to create stems, I'm going to set that audio only as separate file. There, I don't want the final mix. I want a stereo file of dialogue, a separate stereo file of effects, and a separate stereo file of music. And now I can send those stems over to, say, the translation house. They keep the effects, they keep the music, and they replace my English dialogue with French. QuickTime Movie, everything exports, regardless of how the roles are set in the timeline. Multi-track QuickTime Movie allows you to determine which roles export and which don't. And audio only as separate files allows you to create stems. Roles are an exceedingly powerful audio organizational tool. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at audio fundamentals inside Apple's Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 232. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and easy to view. Plus, premium members can now access sample media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.